Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up a new server in the Cloud and X control panel and in this video I'm going to set up a cloud server as opposed to a bare metal server. The difference being that a cloud server is virtual and the cloud and the bare metal is a physical server but I'm going to be going with cloud server. If we go to create cloud server and then we're going to get just a few options to go through. So we can give the server any name we want. I'm not going to change it from the default there. And then we can either go from a fixed server or we can use a flex server. All of them you can be configured later on down the line. The only thing you can't decrease is the uh, the memory. Uh, there's a hard drive space. So if you started with uh, 120, for example, you couldn't then reduce it later. But as we click these, you'll see uh, the price changing in the summary on the right hand. We've got flex as well. So we could have, depending on your needs, if you were, uh, needed something that was very CPU intensive and then you could have that and not so much RAM. But like I say, this can be modified later. And again, the only thing you can't change is the SSD. So as we can see, as we change those, it does change the price. So you can see what that does. And next up, we've got block storage, which is just uh, just what it says on the tin, really. Uh, I'm not going to add one in here. You can again, you can add that later down the line if you find you need more storage. Then we've got the images of the server. So we could spin this up as a Windows server and Ubuntu, CentOS, any of the ones that we've got here. That's the fast host images. So that's what we think uh, works best. We've got applications. So if you wanted, uh, if you knew you were going to be using Drupal, if you click on the little I there, you can see the version of Drupal and the operating system that that's going to launch with. And there's some, um, some just normal ISOs there as well. Uh, a few more options than within the fastest images, but let's just go with uh, CentOS there. Uh, and as we can see, that's not going to cost anything extra because it's Linux. Windows Server, worth noting that the um, the licenses are done based on uh, the number of cores you've got. So as we can see there, I've got 10 CPU cores, so I'm going to be having 10 Windows licenses. Let's go with CentOS there. And again, we can add Plastic Obsidian there too, if we would like to. Then choose where you which data center you want that server to be in and you're ready to go now. But if you do want to go through some of the more advanced options, you can do there. So you can set your own root user, your own root password. Um, however, we will give you a strong default one uh, if you don't choose anything there. You can do remote key, remote uh, access with an SSH key. I'm not going to go through that. It's quite uh, an in-depth process um, for this video. It's just showing the quick setup. Again, you can uh, set all that up later anyway. Uh, you can set metadata if you want to. And again, we can change the uh, the distribution uh, of the processes and cores. So if you wanted to have five processes with two cores, you could do that, or you could have one processor with 10 cores. Again, depending on the applications uh, you'll be running on the server. Then we've got firewall policy, public IP and private network. Uh, you would have to have preset these up to select these, but again, you can add that later on. Don't need to do it now. And if you've got any uh, IPs you hadn't been using within the Cloud and X control panel, you could choose them there, but I haven't got any spare. So once you've done all that, click Create. And you'll see that we've got the user, the root, note, the root, uh, root user and the password there. That is uh, visible for you later on. Um, if we just close that, it's just creating the server. Really doesn't take that long. Some images take longer than others. Um, but yeah, if you want to find the root password, you can just click on that and it will pop up and you can copy it too. That's the end of the video. As we can see, that's already 40% complete. Um, it won't be long till I could connect to that. And it's really that easy to just start your own new Cloud NX server. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.